Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. I've never seen a shade this large around here. Be careful. This is a formidable foe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stupid trash getting in our way. It's hard to imagine a shade being here. It's almost like it was waiting for us. They can't be that intelligent. Oh, really? No. Can you truly say so with all confidence? The tactics of the Shades grow more intricate with each passing year. It would not surprise me to see them setting elaborate traps for us before long. We'd better wipe them out before they get too smart. In any case, we won't be able to live in peace until we take out the Shadow Lord. killed the shade at the bridge. My daughter is dead. She passed while you were gone. Here, take this money. I won't be needing it anymore. Memory alloy, ten titanium alloy. You have a letter, it would seem. Personal request. He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Off to the junk heap then. I hope you find your Yona. I really do.
Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided? We're gonna kill it. You've got to kill him. Kill that damn robot. Rip him up. By the way, what can I help you with? Come back soon. You've got to kill him. By the what can I help you with? Come back soon. You've got to have kill him. Kill. By the way, what can I help you with? Come back s
never heard of a shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. Seems we have found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Right. Let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Beat's going the long way around. Come on. Somehow. Aim for the legs. Knock it down. Take out the shade. Exterminating. Ping. 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 Must defend my mission. No, oh, damn it. That's a shade. It's a shade! Transform? Watch for falling debris! Look out! Escape! 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 Go! Oh, see the world! Where are you 
you think you're going? No mere robot can face the majesty of Grimoire Vice. I can't concentrate with all this bullshit fancy talk! Machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! Hey, come on. It's enough. <laughs> I did it! Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> Look, we get it, okay? Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah, I know. Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well.
Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Sure thing. I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure. One could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Perhaps we should look for a place where old documents are stored. Old documents, huh? Welcome. We've got... Blacksmiths always do well in times like these. Supply and demand, I suppose. Hey, you don't happen to know where my boyfriend is, do you? Sorry, lady. No idea. Right. Of course you don't. See, my boyfriend just up and vanished five years ago. I keep waiting for him, but I have no idea where he went or if he's... Hey, wait! You're that kid who does whatever people ask him to do, right? Well, then... Go find my boyfriend. Well, people usually ask nicely. And I have no idea what your boyfriend looks like. Much Well, he always wears this flashy gold necklace. So maybe you can start there. And so we find ourselves off on a hunt for a man with a golden necklace. <sighs> Everything all right, ma'am? No. My son has come down with a strange illness. He's been ill for a week, and no matter what I do, it just seems to get worse. That's not good. Any idea what's causing it? No. He went out to play with the other children like he usually does, and when he came home, he was sick. Something must have happened to him out there. I'll see what I can figure out. You will? Of course. Meddlesome as always, I see. Shall we begin by questioning the children? Sounds like a plan to me. I suppose all children are precious to their own parents. Yeah. But if the cause... I heard there's a scary curse on all the forests in the world. And the bigger the forest, the scarier the curse. Well, you're smart. Come up with something. Perhaps... I heard there's a skip. Why would kids know when the adults don't? Even the oldest adult in the world is but a child to my eyes. Some kids like to play in the northern forest. We're not supposed to know, but everybody does. Man, I wish I could go there. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing.
This feels alarmingly familiar. Ha! I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? I need uh, one memory alloy, ten titanium. Sure, the guy with the necklace? I don't know where he is now, but I've heard some pretty sordid tales about him. Oh sure, the guy with the neck. Oh, God. It's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask. What... I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabberg- But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... that actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now. All right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, hey, buddy. You know a place called the Lost Shrine? Yeah, I know it. Listen. I'm what's called a botanist. That means I study plants. This is all probably way over your head. Anyway, this lost shrine place supposedly contains a very rare tree, and I'm looking for someone to go there and borrow a piece of its root. What do you think? Come on, buddy. It's just one little piece of root. I'll do it. You have to stop calling me buddy. We've got the latest... Hey, you got time to help me with something? Go on. 
I need you to buy a kitchen knife from Two Brothers Weaponry and bring it back to me. I'm willing to pay a handsome sum for it. Why not just buy one here in town? Why go to such lengths for a mere household utensil? Absolutely not. The knife must come from the junk heap. I'll pay whatever it takes. Well, if you say so. Thanks. When you bring me the knife, I'll give you the money. Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in you. Go, catch me ten sardines. Searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. Hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to- Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Aska. Ah, I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's alright to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Rice. Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. 
You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or- uh, No. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine? Emil? What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from a... What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy had. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Let's make sure we're ready. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the pros- Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's... This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lamp. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. a key in order to proceed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Hmm? 
There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. It looks really dark up. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found. What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the... R Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Uh, good. Let's keep moving. Oh, what was that sound? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance? Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's... It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on. I think I can move these. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. A hidden room. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of... A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? and made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron to- Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? Oh, damn. What the hell is 
the smell? Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Should we not be heading farther in? A kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. It seems this door... Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway lo- Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh... This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. What is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hole. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Hmm? Is that...? Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further with- I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Hey there, you two! Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... Uh... Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine. That presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters may- They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads not t- Thank you. 
This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is... You know, I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's... Time of the month? So, sorry! Sorry. Clearly crossed a the line there. Forget I said any. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Shit! Damn, they're in the way. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> what on earth? Is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant!
for the tentacles with faces on them. One stop now. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. Chance. Attack with all that you have. Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge! from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes, dodge! Unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. Flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues.
This guy's important to you, isn't he? Thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! for the head. <laughs> we can never be together. You disgust me. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. 
I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not your... I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> Alright, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. <sighs> <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. Thank you. 